What's up guys? Welcome back to Exactly Gaming. My name is Zach and today we're back playing more Inscription, baby. This game is so cool. It is so much more than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a cool card game. It seemed like it was neat. I knew it had like a horror element to it, but I thought it was just going to be like a spooky card game. There's a lot more to this game. You get up from the table, walk around. There's like other stuff to interact with. Clearly it seems like I'm supposed to escape from this crazy guy. Uh, in the last episode... The, one of the cards is talking to me, the stoat. I made him immortal, and now I made my own card after I died. So, in his own words, here we go again. Another challenger. Oh, so I'm a new guy after I die. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. Wait, bones? The resourceful possum costs two bones. Oh, a new, like, currency. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Okay. Good to know, I guess. Uh, we'll do squirrel. Is the stoat still immortal? Shit, no he's not. We gotta get that stoat immortal, baby. He's sleeping. The rattler. Is he poisonous? No, but he's got three attacks, so we're not going to kill my stoat. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent, or the battle ends. Okay, good to know. You are lacking the bones. Okay, so I guess I'll just attack with my stoat. The rattler. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh... What's this? A bullfrog? Oh, he blocks flying creatures. Interesting. But he has less health, so I'm not going to play him. Oh, he's playing another rattler. Oh, shit. Okay. So now I got to do this. Playing a squirrel. Now I'm playing the bullfrog. Oh, and now I have two bones. So now I can play my possum. There we go. There we go. And now I can play the wolf. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, he wasn't ready for that. Oh, the rattler's going to kill my stoat. Oh, I can just keep blocking him with squirrels. <laughs> Until I win. Well, this is a messed up strategy, but it's a good way to get bones. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Who's the trapper? This game is crazy. There's a lot going on here. Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. Okay. Oh, this game is crazy. Wait, was that a... Okay. Uh, your safe is shaking, sir. That's me. Uh, let me guess. 666? Six, six, six? No? You seem like the kind of guy who'd have 666 six, six be his code. Nope. Okay. What is that? Mantis and Squirrel. Okay. I'd love more cards let us continue sure thing boss man the meager coyote but what did you expect for only four bones it costs four bones that seems like a lot oh the rattle costs six the nefarious rattler a brittle creature once past its monstrous fangs the unkillable cockroach it returns to your hand after dying well that's cool you know I gotta go with the one with the sigil. 
That's how I turn stuff into things. You know, you're free to get up again to keep your blood flowing. Wait, so I can just get up? I'm no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. Oh, if you're going to give me free reign to look around, I'm about to fucking go look at everything. I can't... This is something weird. Nope. That, yeah, that would take forever and would never actually work. Who are you and why can't I see your face? It looks like you have a beard. You're a creepy dude. Why do you have a wolf in a cage? Why do these keep lighting? Can I get this knife to stab you with? No, the squirrel has a knife. You can't use that right now. Oh, this is like the bifurcated strike. A card bearing this sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space across. Well, that's pretty cool. Trifurcated strike. Whoa, I need one of these. Frozen weight. When a card bearing this sigil perishes, the creature inside is released in its place. Trinket bear. When a card bearing this sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as you have less than three items. These are fucking cool. When a card bearing this sigil is drawn, this sigil is replaced with another sigil at random. Oh, hey, I need these. Yeah, I need to the hell out of here all right let's let's play a rock may get you out of a heart oh cool i can like block people whoa black goat it's bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding ha <laughs> bleeding pun choose one i gotta go with that goat that's cool feeling overburdened enough with full three items you carried on Sounds good to me. What's the... Oh, skull. Are you smart or something? He usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones. Alright, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. Okay, what? Okay. Thank you for that, I guess. What's he playing? Ooh, that's a flying sparrow. So if I play the bullfrog, I can stop that sparrow from doing what it does. I think that's what that that I think that's like a let's well let's check the rule book. Mighty leap. A card bearing this sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Yep, gotcha. Cool, cool. Very cool. I wish it would have let me keep my stoat, man. He was stacked. He had an extra damage and everything. That was fucking cool. Okay, we got it, yeah. Play the squirrel here. Play the stoat. Get a bone. Total misplay. Well, man. Well, I don't know what the hell you want from me, okay? Oh, the possum. Show me possum. There we go. Yeah, how's that for a misplay? Ooh, the wolf. I see the way this is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender. Or you may finish this match the slow way. Pfft. No, you fucking cheater. I'm gonna kick your ass. You're gonna get messed up. Real bad. Yeah. Yeah, keep holding your hand out. See how that works out for you. I'm going to beat the shit out of you in the meantime. Yeah, how do you like that? Yeah, it's not so fun, is it? The inviolable beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. Well, that's kind of cool. Exactly! Hey, that's me! The Bountiful Warren. It spawns a rabbit when it is played. I gotta go with it. It costs one blood. It's a 3-2 and it flies. 
Oh, I got a pick exactly. Got exactly in my deck. Now, I said last time I was going to go campfire, so we'll go... Well, oh, the campfire is the power thing, isn't it? A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its health, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. So is there like a chance they die or something? He's saying no way. So I'm going to pick... Oh, shit. I don't know who I'm going to pick. It'll increase their health. We'll pick my card. Yeah, well, I'll, 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 I'll step... Pick something else. Yeah, he doesn't want to go, and I'll, I'll listen to him there. The health of the exactly was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors was pulling their knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Okay, okay. If I would have known it would have made it, I would have done the stoat, but I'm not going to risk him. He seems to give me information, so I want to keep him around, keep him happy. Ever look in the rule book? There's definitely passcodes scrawled in there. They were looking up the bullfrog sigil. Okay, um... Can I? The bullfrog sigil. Mighty leap. 273. 273. Is that 0273? Oh, 273. Oh, okay, duh. Uh, there's only one. The bullfrog sigil. I got it, man. So I can do direct damage to him with this thing. Yeah, that's a badass card. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. Oh, wolf coming in a stand of chance, man. Fine. Yeah, fi yeah, fine. I know it's fine. Okay, now let's do it. Yeah! I messed you up there. What's this? That's a new symbol. I gotta go that way. Gotta go see what it is. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. What? Oh. Give me a one blood, man. I'm all about the Lewis. A random card with a cost of one. What the hell does that do? What were you expecting? Waterboard. A card bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Well, that card sucks. Damn it. I did. I picked the wrong path. Oh, well. Oh, crap. The warmth of a, of a campfire was a welcome sight. Though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened. Warm a creature by the fire, enhance its health, said one. Let's give up Lewis. It's a, it's a, it's a win-win. If they get rid of him, fine. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's health. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your Lewis, or Louis. Well, at least he has more health now, but it doesn't matter because he goes away. <laughs> that was a dumb pick. You ever peeked in that rule book? You know the one. You look at it. If you forget, a sigil. You know, the sigils on the cards. Yeah, I get it, man. Oh, I, I forget that Like whenever it goes to the map, I can just get up from the map. Gotcha. Yeah, we'll do the stoat. Keep me alive. I will, man. I will. Coyote, coyote, coyote. Great. Damn it. Gotta do the squirrel. So I'll play squirrel. And now I'll play black goat. But if this costs... This counts as three, is that right? Yeah, there we go. So now I can do that. Okay, well that's not great. Bullfrog. Oh, well I don't want you to die, man, from the thing. 
Oh, come on. I'm sorry, but... I don't want the thing to kill you. We'll do this. Well, that means he's going to attack me directly, but hey. But he moves over to block, but now he's going away, so it doesn't fucking matter. Damn. Exactly. Oh, good to have you, exactly. I need you to do some damage for me. Oh, yeah, you better believe I'm playing this possum over here. Hey! Whew! This game is cool. Wait, that's, that's just a straight-up trap, it looks like. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Oh, shit. Care to look at my pelts? Or me pelts? That's a, yeah. Take a pelt. Free of charge. Okay, thanks for the rabbit pelt. See the quality? Yeah, what's a golden pelt? You'll need more teeth for that one. Oh, I don't... I have four teeth. What's a wolf pelt do? It's just... You're leaving already? Please consider me pelts. What do the pelts do? What, what the hell's a pelt? It just takes up... Pelt? Like, what... Thanks for your business. I don't understand what the pelts are, man. Okay. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Okay. Great. I don't... Yeah. Sure, man. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. We're back here. What can I get the stoat infused with? Ooh. Returns to my hand. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll do that. It gets rid of the cockroach, but the cockroach costs four anyway, so. Yeah, I know you'll go, man. Yeah, alright. Yeah, there you go, Stoat. Now you return to my hand. If I can't make you immortal, I can at least make you unkillable. Wait, what? My boss battle are high stakes tests of your aptitude. Well, don't take away. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not. I will let you keep the smoke. With the smoke? What the fuck? Are... Okay. The incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Oh, shit. Twas the prospector! Hee haw! You fucking damn prospector. Prospector boss, again. Yeah, I remember. Go for the mule. I remember what you told me. What's the smoke do? Bone King. When a card bearing the sigil dies, four bones are rewarded instead of one. Ooh, shit, that's awesome. Well, let's get that card out of the way. Play this. Now play the squirrel. Now play the stoat. Oh, you can't draw blood from a rabbit pellet. Oh, shit, okay. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure, man. You got this. Alright, take that. The smoke gives me four bones. So many bones. Yeah, you're right. That's a bunch of bones. Come on. Yeah, possum. That's what I'm talking about. Louie. Louie, you kind of suck, man. You don't do much for me. There we go. The wolf. Now that is something I can use. You'll come back to my hand. You'll come right back to my hand. Oh, 
Ooh, you lost one, buddy. There's gold in them cards. Oh, shit. Come on. Damn it. Gold. I've struck gold. Yeah, yeah, you fucking dick. I gotta get people out there, so. Squirrel it is. Alright, go for it, Stoat. Bad play. How is it a bad play? The only play I had. Get him! Yeah. Damn prospector, son of a bitch. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Hmm. He's about to start doing a lot of damage to me. So I just gotta go over his head. Oh shit, the bloodhound moves over. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, I gotta attack him directly. At least I can do three damage to him straight up. Squirrel. And now we'll do... The stoat. He can attack him. Now I'll just pop over. Shit. Let's do it. Do it while I still can't. Oh shit, the adder. No. on the board. Yeah, I'm gonna, you're gonna end up dying. Shit. That's the game. More gold for me. Yeah, yeah creepy hands. Ugh. <sighs> well, shit. Well, now I know the code. I should have went and got that thing before. Yeah, yeah, I know. Stay there. No need to move. I'm afraid you are not dead yet. Hold still. Hmm. Where did I put that camera of mine? Pathetic, really. Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. Oh. We have a memento to create. Oh, shit. Another card. Behold, your death card. Shall we begin to ink it? Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Ooh, cost nothing. A cost of free from the rabbit pellet. That I like. Another. I will use power and health. Yeah, there we go. Three power and two health from the wolf. Now choose a card from which to extract the sigils. Wow, so it blocks flan. That fuck it. That's a dope card. Uh, this is called Flyboy. One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. Quit taking pictures of me, man. Say cheese. I'm not going to say cheese that time. I didn't say cheese. Because you're very rude. Well, guys, that's another episode. And I am about to walk away from this table and go input that code that I found in the, in the rule book. So that's where we're going to leave off. Um, I'm, I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to figure out stuff. So I hope you guys did like this one. And I will see you all in the next episode.